Hey there guys and welcome back to Hersey Games and welcome to episode 1 of our FIFA 18 career mode. Now if you can't tell by the shirt I'm wearing and of course by the thumbnail, we are as QPR, Queen's Park Rangers FC, who absolutely battered the uh, vote from you guys. So thank you to everyone who voted on the straw poll. Sorry it's been a little while getting this up and running, but I've been recording a couple of other things. Obviously the Road to Glory, I've got episode 3 recorded now as well, so that's going to be coming up soon. Um, but we're going to jump straight into this career mode. As you can see, three and a half million there in our wage budget, which isn't very much, but I do have a plus 60%. So I put that on because I thought it gives us just a little bit of money to boost things up, but nothing that's going to sort of absolutely break the bank, which otherwise I feel a little bit cheaty. But I'm going to sort out this stuff and we'll load straight in. We'll have a look at the team uh, and I will obviously want you guys to let me know who you think we should be looking to sign. Uh, we're going to start off on world class. We're going to put it on to five minutes, but... If that gets too easy, which I don't think it will, then we'll change that. But I'll see you guys at that team sheet. Okay, so here we are, day one of our QPR career mode. And of course, we have the pre-season tournament to look at. So we're going to take on with the most money, obviously. Um, but our squad here at QPR is okay. It's nothing special. Obviously, it's a championship team. Um, and I'd say it's like a mid-table championship team. So uh, first of all, we're going to have a quick look at our um, expectations um, obviously that's all scouts and stuff which we don't need to worry about right now but vision and expectation so youth development is sign one youth player to the senior team in the same season they were scouted and play them for five matches that's fine that I think we can achieve uh, and also sign at least two players younger than 20 with a potential greater than the average of the ratings that are currently in the team that's fine I can I think we can do that brand exposure 85% attendance in five consecutive home matches those kind of things are just down to how you play so hopefully if we play well we could hit that but our high success ones our mid-table finish, okay, I think I can deal with that. Round of 32 in the Emirates, uh, FA Cup, not too bad. And gain automatic promotion within three seasons, okay. Now, I'm hoping to do that in that time anyway, so that's not too bad. Salary growth under 15% and finish the season with a profit margin of 18 million. Wow, okay. Um, the financial one might be a little bit tough, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, as I said, the 6%, so we've got just under 6 million now, but this... It's a sort of starting team. I'm going to have a little fill around with this and I'll show you the starting team I'm thinking of playing. Okay, so I've changed a couple of little things. Uh, as you can see, I'm thinking of 4-3-3 with a CDM. Um, now, the midfield I'm fairly happy with. It's going a bit low rated, but I think he's got good potential and will go up. Uh, Freeman and Luongo are probably two of our best players in real life and I have no intention of letting them go. The only thing I might sort of chop, uh, chop and change is Washington for Silla because Silla is a quality player um, in this game. And the back four... Is okay. I think all around we just need a bit of a boost. Uh, the bench you can see here as well is a, a bit lacking in ratings at least, um, especially with Lumley because we sent Ingram out on loan. Pretty much everyone on this reserves I'm more than willing to let go. Uh, the only ones I kind of want to keep are Goss because I think he'll be a good potential and, and, and build up. Shadipo again for the same reason. Samuel who we just signed anyway so he won't be going anywhere and Boroshuk because again good sort of rating and could actually fit in for um, Scone right now, but I'll keep him on the on the reserves just for now. The other players I'm happy to let go, and this is nothing against the players in real life, it's just for this career mode. Of course, I'll be brutally honest with you, one of my favourite players is Jamie Mackey, uh, but in this, he's not going to quite cut it for me just because of um, his rating, his age and stuff on this career mode. So don't get hurt if I'm looking at selling your favourite players, but... I'm doing this all for the benefit of the career mode, obviously. So that's the starting team right now. Looking at that team, feel free to pause it and have a look and have a look on your FIFA or on Footbin or wherever you want to check. Think of some players for me that you think I should sign because I'm going to use the comment section as almost like a scouting network. So if there are players that are there, I will have a look at them, see what I think. And if I think they're the right player to buy, then we'll invest. But I'm also going to have a look at a couple of players now. So I'm going to have a little look, find some players, and I'll talk to you about my thoughts. Okay, so on my transfer hub, you can see I've got a bunch of players that I've started scouting on just to see what they're going to say. Now, I'm not going to make any offers right now, firstly, because I don't know anything about these players, about how much the team's sort of be anticipating. And with the new transfer system, if you put in a bid that's way too low, then they're going to just be like, nope, not happening. And that's it. You don't get to talk to them again for the rest of that transfer window. So I'm not going to make that mistake 
but we've got Woodburn, who we'd probably look at getting in on loan because I'm pretty sure Liverpool have just signed him, so he'd be a possibility to get on loan. Zinchenko, if he's not too expensive because he's got a good variety of positions he can play and would be a strong winger or midfielder if we wanted him. Gosling, for the same kind of reason, just to maybe bump up that midfielder if we need to. And same with Brannigan, good, good young potential. Walker up front, I couldn't remember if Forrest have just signed him, so I've, again, I'm scouting it. And same with Bamford, who would be a top quality striker. He'd be probably our first player, whereas the other ones would maybe be ones that we'd, we'd build up and look to build into the first team. Uh, but Bamford would be great, but again, can't remember if that's just been made permanent. Brereton, I know, I think he's about 66 rating, which is the same as Washington, but he's younger and has better potential, uh, so an option. Uh, Blackett uh, can play centre or left back, um, so would be a great, great option, but again, can't remember if he's just signed. Uh, so again, sent, um, oh yeah, it says recently joined. Did it say that for? It did say it for Bamford as well. Okay, so Bamford and Blackett aren't for now, but it'll be good to find out their ratings at least, and so maybe January we can look at getting them. Akpaguma is one of my favourite players to use in this game, uh, and was in 17. I think he's like low 70s, but he's like 22, so his rating will go through the roof. Decore, same reason, he's young, um, and would be a quality player to bring in if we can. And same with Keira, who is fully flexible across that back four and would be a great, great signing. But I've just inquired for now. We'll see what they say um, and hopefully they'll get back to us relatively quickly. Let's have a look who we're going to list. OK, so I've gone through and listed a few people. I've listed Perch. I've listed uh, Lynch. I also listed... Uh, it's just a matter of scrolling through them. The new way they've done it is OK. I think it's just going to get used, getting used to. Um, I've also listed Mackey. I listed Smith, I listed Emmanuel Thomas. So I've listed majority of like the older quote unquote people, the ones that I don't think are gonna have great potential and that I don't necessarily plan on starting. Um, again, nothing against those players. It's just for the sake of this career mode, that's what I've done. Uh, but let's wait and see if we get any offers in and also if we hear anything back from any of our clubs. Okay, so first thing we've had in is an offer for Anua, um, our captain. Uh, and I don't necessarily plan on selling Anua if I'm honest with you. So I'm just going to straight up reject that. Don't know if he'd want to move to the Premier League. Um, I really like him as a captain. I think he's been a little bit suspect in the last season we had in the Premier League, but he's our club captain and I have a lot of respect for Nadem. So we didn't get any other offers in before the start of our pre-season tournament. So I'm going to play our first team, give them a run out, see how they do. Uh, it's against Oviedo. Uh, I can only assume it's a Spanish league team. Uh, hopefully we can pick up a win, it'd be nice to start off well, Umbukoto does get injured, which does suck actually early on, but Wojciech gets a goal um, nice and early on for us in that first half, and then he gets a second, making it 2-0 just for half time, Umbukoto misses a penalty but gets taken off for Washington, they get a goal back 53 minutes in, hopefully that Umbukoto injury isn't too long standing, because I would like to play him in that starting team, Freeman picks up a third, and it is going to finish 3-1, great first win for our career mode. Um, let's have a look and see. Oh, got an offer for Luongo, which is going to be a no, by the way. Two days, not too long. Might rest him for the next game. Samuel did want to play that last game, so I feel a bit bad for not playing him. Uh, but I'm actually going to block offers for uh, Luongo. Block offers. There it is. Not coming in. No one's getting Luongo. He's my player. He's one of the best players at our club, and he's not going anywhere. Uh, an offer in for Washington. Uh, from Burton, so the same league as us. See, I don't really want to get rid of Washington, if I'm honest with you. Um, I mean, if I could get some decent money in for him, maybe, but I don't, I don't really want to sell. I'm going to reject that for now. I don't really want to sell Washington. Okay, second game in our pre-season cup, and it's away to Bronby. Um, Probably about the same kind of quality as us, really, a team like Bronby. Um, but we do get an early goal with Furlong, but they get one two minutes later with Pucky, Pucky? I'm not sure how that's said. Um, but it was nice to get an early goal, especially for Furlong. Uh, but let's see if we can maybe reclaim the lead. It's in the second half, a couple of changes, and they get the 2-1. So 2-1 up now. I'd, I'd, from this kind of scoreline, I'd now I would take a point if we can pinch one, maybe... Oh, it's looking too late. Washington pops up two minutes before the end of time. 88th minute, gets it to 2-2. We get a point. Um, I don't know that that secures us uh, going through. Technically, it doesn't, but it looks like a good shot. But also, I can see a lot of emails, so that means we've got some player reports. Let's have a look. 
just before we do look at those, we've got an offer for Jamie Mackey. Now, um, I'm going to show the actions. I'm going to delegate this just to get it sort of up and running. Uh, I'm going to ask for 750. Don't really want to go lower than 600. So we'll see what we can do there. They offered 570, so 600 I don't think is out of the question. But if we can get nearer 700, that would be great. And also quite a bit of wages we're going to get back. Okay, so here we are in the transfer hub. Now, like I said, Woodburn would maybe be a loan offer, uh, but he's 65 rated, so I'm kind of thinking a little bit about that one. Zinchenko, 4.4 million, so would be majority of our budget, but the 45 grand wages is putting me off just a little bit. He'd have great potential, uh, but it might be a little bit too expensive. Gosling, the same kind of thing. Good rating, but wages quite a lot there. Uh, same with Brannigan, I think he'd be a great buy, but 33 grand wages might just be a little bit too much for me. Walker, a little bit low rated, 62 rating, isn't awful. He would go up, but it kind of defeats the point of us doing what we were trying to do. Bamford, he would have been perfect, but he's just joined, isn't an option. Okay, up next we have Brereton, Ben Brereton, uh, 66 rated, so the same as Washington, uh, but younger, so his potential is going to be a little bit better. Uh, Blackett, we can't go in for because obviously he's just moved. Akpaguma, I think, is going to be a really, really good shout. 22 years old, 71 rated, so again, kind of fitting into that starting team. But again, it's the youth, it's the potential, it will build as we go on. And only 3 million, so I can maybe offer someone for that as well. Uh, Ducore's a little bit lower than I'd expected him to be, uh, 62 rated, so I was, I was hoping he'd be nearer like mid to maybe high 60s, but... Again, a possibility because it'd be quite cheap. Uh, and last but not least, Keira, who would be perfect, uh, just a little bit more expensive. So I'm going to make an offer for a couple of players um, and we'll see what we get. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're approaching Ben Brereton. So I'm going to skip a lot of the sort of little cutsceny bits. So let's have a look. I want to offer a transfer fee, I think, maybe. Or do I offer Matt Smith? Let's see if we can save ourselves a little bit of money. Uh, let's offer Matt Smith, see what they say. Looking to bring in a right winger. Uh, let's see. Boys, although Mackie might be going. So let's offer Petrasso. Uh, plus some money. Okay, we can offer some money, but I'm going to propose a new transfer fee. Uh, I'm going to offer 500 because Petrasso is worth 7. He's, the player's worth 1.2. So it, it adds up. We'll see what they say. 580. You know what? I can take 580. I think 580 is a good offer. So we're happy with that. Let's get into their contract. So let's have a little negotiate with Brereton himself. Uh, let's skip all of this, Malaka. Come on, load up. Here we go. So. Discuss his squad role. Uh, it would be a rotation. I think that's fair enough to say. And he's hoping for rotations. So that's fine. Uh, I'm going to offer five years. Uh, he wants a two-year. Okay, we'll go with two-year. I'll offer him a, another contract, hopefully, later on. Uh, that's fine. I don't want a release clause. Salary. Uh, I'm going to offer him... Uh, five grand, and I'll offer him a hundred grand signing on bonus. Let's go. What does he say? I'll take it. That's fine. It's not much different. Uh, but we have signed our first player, Ben Burton. Welcome to QPR. Okay, so the last position I'm going to try and fill now will be a centre back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in for Akpaguma. I think Akpaguma will be a great player to try and get a hold of. Plus, I have Lynch who I am trying to get rid of anyway. So my plan will be offer Lynch um, and see what they say to that. So I'm gonna try and offer Joel Lynch, worth 1.2, which isn't too bad. Hopefully he'll ask for money as well. They're looking to bring in a midfielder, okay. Uh, so if I offer, who can I offer? Ah, oh, see there's not too many midfielders I actually want to get rid of. So I'm going to offer, should I say 3 million? I'll offer 3 million, see what they say. 
Okay, come on. 3.2, wow. I think, I think 3.2 would be a good deal actually, so I'm going to accept 3.2 and now we can go in and try and get a contract off him. I think this is a fantastic signing, 71 rated, but the, the potential that he's going to have I think will be fantastic. Now hopefully I can get him on a decent contract as well. Um, so, squad roll. Yeah, I'll accept that he's important because he's near enough a starting sort of rating anyway. Two years. Uh, again, we'll accept two years because if we can get promoted within that time, we can offer him a new contract anyway, which he should accept. Uh, I don't want to release clause. Hopefully they don't either. Great. They don't want to release clause. So, he's on a lot of wages. That's 150. I didn't mean that. I meant 15. Uh, 16. I'll offer 16 and I'll offer him 200,000 signing on bonus and see what he says. What's he going to say? So he wants, he thinks that's fair. Great. That's amazing. Awesome. So we've made two signings. We've got Ben Brereton and we have Akpaguma. Let's go and have a look at what that does to our starting team. Okay. So Akpaguma and Brereton both make it onto the bench. Uh, like we said before, he's the same rating as Washington. However, he is, I think it's like six years younger. So he's 18, he's 25. So he's seven years younger. Uh, and so is going to go up. He's 22. And we've got Anua, who is 30. Currently, our, um, oh, he's not even our captain at the moment. Luongo is our captain. But we have options now in the defence. We're a little bit out of form after the, la after the uh, last game. I'm going to put Mbokota back in quickly. And we are going to get to that next game and see how we do. Before we actually got to... Um, that game, we did have it come in that they have accepted 750 for Maki, which is the actual top end of what we asked for. So I'm fine with that. I'm going to accept the offer. I'm going to let them do their thing. Hopefully he will then go within the next couple of days or so. Um, but let's jump into this game against Palmer. Same lineup. Off we go. Can we get ourselves a win? They are currently on two losses, so it's looking good. Hopefully we can also then get our players back into some form, which would be nice. We get an early goal, but they get a goal a minute later. Kickoff glitch. It's guaranteed. FIFA 18. Uh, Wojciech, there we go. 2-1. Wojciech doing really well in this preseason, actually getting themselves. I think that's three goals now. Um, so, it's looking good. Wojciech making it four. Uh, four goals for his, his tally for this tournament, making it 3-1 in the game. And I think we should see that out nicely. 4-1. Washington scores. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Smithies with an injury. Hopefully it's just like a head cut. We'll get to that in a minute. Surprise man, it's fine. Seven days, up for a week, so he is going to miss the tournament, but that's okay, he'll be back for the season. <sighs> but an offer for Darnell Furlong from Bolton, I'm currently going to reject that uh, because we don't have another option apart from Perch, who is somebody I'm looking to sell just because of his age. Okay, we have had an offer for Joel Lynch at 1250, so I'm going to delegate this out again just because... I, it's easier for me. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll bump it up to 1.7, but I'll have it go down to 1.25. So hopefully they should accept a bid within that range. I'm not too upset with 1.25, but 1.7 will be nice if we can just get that a little bit more for it. Uh, but he's going to sell by the looks. Okay, we're in our semi-final game against Estac. Uh, Smithies is back. Uh, so that week knock wasn't actually a week in the end. It's about four days. Probably should have rested him anyway, but I'm playing the risk. See what we can do here. See if we can get ourselves into the final. It's all extra money. Uh, Wojciech, Wojciech popping up with a goal. Wojciech might be a bit of a sim god here. That's uh, that's good to know during these, obviously, international cups. But obviously, when we get down to the games, we're playing them. So sim gods won't make a difference. Uh, but other than that, a fairly quiet game so far. And Bukoto pops up, makes it two. Gives us a nice little cushion there. Is that going to be the end? They do get one back, but it's not enough. 2-1, we head off into the finals. Okay, on match day, it's just come through that Jamie Mackey has been sold. Sad to see him go, obviously, because like I said, I'm a big fan of Mackey, but it needed to happen. He's a bit older. He's not really going to be playing those games. And it is on match day, like I said, so let's jump in. We're away to Oviedo. It's the finals. Can we win our first bit of silverware? They've been on a great run. I think we beat them in the first game, but I can't remember off the top of my head now. Um, but... Let's see if we can get this result. Umbakoto misses a penalty. That sucks. Come on. Wojciech gets injured. It's not looking good this final so far. That first half was a uh, not our finest hour. Come on, boys. Brereton's brought on. That's his debut. Luongo gets a goal. Come on, boys. Hold out. Hold out. 
and we do it. We win the European International or Invitational Cup. Uh, so that's great. That's some great funds that have been added as well. We've got an offer for Perch. We'll get to that in a second. Lynch, they've agreed for 1.45. That's fantastic. We get one and a half million from that. So that's fantastic. And Wojciech is out for two weeks. So he should be back in time for the start of the season. They've accepted at 1.45. So I'll accept that offer. And Perch, they're coming at 400. That's a little bit low for me. I'm thinking more... We'll start at 8.50, no less than 4.50. Oh, I didn't mean that, I meant 5.50. Oh well, if it goes to 4.50, it's not the end of the world, I guess, but oops. Okay, so guys, I'm just sort of starting to wrap up the end of the video here. I don't want to go too far into this without you guys getting at least a bit of an input into people to maybe look at. So. Um, I'll go and show the team in a minute, but I just wanted to show you after all of the preseason tournaments and stuff, we've got about 5 million. I mean, I can adjust this. If we're looking at like maybe one player who's going to come in on, say, 35 grand wages, we've got 6 million. Otherwise, we can maybe get one or two um, if they're on smaller wages, say, at like 15 each. And we've got about six and a half. So you're looking at that between 5 and 6 million and between 30 and 50 grand wages. Um, so... Have a little think, have a little look through. You guys are basically, like I said, you're one of my scouts right now. So you're out there looking for players for me. Let me know what you think. Do you think we should start a youth system? That's a possibility. But uh, let's have a look at the squad so you guys have got an idea of maybe positions that we can improve on. Okay, so here is our starting lineup. Obviously, we do have Akpaguma that will probably start over Anua or Furlong because he can play central or at the right in defence. Uh, we have Brereton who's going to slowly start pulling up these ranks. But otherwise, rotation-wise and general depth isn't fantastic. We have Hall, like I said, we do have Borushuk, who actually for now I'm going to put in over Manning. I do love Manning, and I think Manning in actual real life should get a bit more of a shot every now and again, probably from the bench considering I'm midfield. But I am a big fan of his. Uh, we do have Perch who will be leaving if the deal goes through for him. Um, and we do have Lynch who will be leaving if that deal goes through as well. So, I mean... Luwalua's on loan, so Luwalua's not going anywhere. I'd like to keep Shadipo as well. So we've got these bottom three that would potentially be going. Otherwise, that's our squad depth. Oh yeah, we do have Smith actually as well who will potentially be going. Uh, so we have eight players in reserves, which is kind of a, a good middle ground. But rating-wise, they're all in the 60s, two at 70 and one at, in the 50s. Uh, so maybe a sub-keeper might be a good one to go for. So let me know who you think. Leave comments in the comment section below. Leave a like if you've enjoyed this. And guys, hopefully... You have enjoyed this and hopefully we can get QPR back into the Premier League and winning for fun. That's the aim here. But guys, thank you for checking out episode number one. I will see you guys very, very soon. Look after yourselves.